Hello guys, this is Pizza Daddy again. Uh, today I'm gonna try to fix this other one that I bought. Uh, I think that the problem may be the the battery. Uh, when I connect to a uh, to the beat software, to the beat uh, software updater, it uh, it actually uh, recognized the. It actually uh, recognized the the earphones. So it shows up there, and it shows that the battery is full, and uh, it lights up. But uh, actually, I just hooked it up uh, another one that I bought, and uh, it it also showed that the battery was full. But actually, in the when when the battery is completely completely depleted, then it shows full. <laughs> so it's like a maybe a bug from the from the software updater from Apple. But uh, okay, so the thing is that like I'll try to install a new battery, and uh, I'll check if it, if it works. So. The issue with this one is that uh, it doesn't do anything when I try to power on. It either could be the power button itself or the or the battery. If the battery is completely depleted and uh, it's not even able to start charging, then uh, Okay, so just the same way that I do that I did on my on my kind of tutorial about how I open it up. I just get my metal purger and I go in this side that there is no uh, charging port. And I go back to the hook side, and I try to get it in between the and try to make make some space out out there. You know. Once you get some room, you just try to pry it off. Alright, so this is the battery. Let's see if there is any thing that I can tell from this battery if it's good or bad. It looks good. Actually looks very very really good. So what I'm gonna try to do is just take a solder the leads of this other battery that I that I bought on eBay. I paid sixty cents for this one. I I can uh, I can have the the specs for it like a on a look this one. pretty much the same size as this one 
so I, I'll get the the size of the the size of it on a uh, on eBay on a uh, on the on a uh, on the video info so you guys can uh, try to find one just like this one that I got okay so let's uh, pour on the so here we can see like a it kind of like it's kind of like five solar points but the main idea is that like a, it's a positive going to the battery positive going to the to the other side of the of the earphones some uh, feedback signal and negative from one side negative going to the other side and negative going to the battery like the ones from the edges are connected so let's let it warm it up and uh, if we take a look it's like a minus and plus yeah it's P minus and P plus let me Let me see if there is any charge. Because it was the computer was telling me that it, the the battery was full. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so it's zero volts. Oh, it's completely completely bad. Right, so let's try to let me see which one is the positive side. Okay, so this on mine, the side that's like a going looking down, it says it's the positive. So for not touching the the leads the terminals of the like only for testing purposes I'm gonna just like I'm getting in parallel not I'm not I want like really replace it it'll be only for sake of testing
All right. It's down. So if we take a look here, I just solder like a an external battery to the lead. And now let's try to power it on. Alright, so that was it. Uh, let me hook it up here. To the computer. Where are you charging cable? When I hook it up here, look, now it shows me that the battery is like, uh, is like low. So the thing with this uh, software updater is that uh, whenever the battery is too low, it will tell you that the battery is full. So then you might uh, think that the issue is the power button, you know? So... I just like, like uh, I just hook it up to any battery and it worked. So it's just like it it lights up and uh and it powers on now. Battery is low, so then I'm gonna just like let it charge for a little bit. So uh my other video I, I didn't have it like a completely I just was just showing what I would do if I had a bad one but now I just got a bad one and I got it working so I hope you guys it's not a very fancy very fancy video I'm still like in the in the fixing cave but uh, I'm trying to help you guys out so the symptom of this one was that uh, when I hook it up to the computer, it would show me that the battery is full. It did lead up the the LED when when it was hooked up to the computer, so the computer was was recognizing it, but uh, it would it would not power on if. Uh, if it was not hooked to the computer it was like a completely dead if it was not uh, hooked up to the computer so I think that if I leave it like this for a while uh, I think that the both batteries are going to be charged if the if the battery that's uh, that was installed back there was too low to get a charge then I think that now uh, it may just like come back to life you know so just like one idea I'll try to check later on uh, I'll, and I'll let you guys know alright thank you very much have a good night and uh, if this was uh, helpful to you guys uh, please uh, like the video if you don't like you can dislike the video but i i hope you guys like it um uh, and uh i'm gonna be posting like some different things about fi fixing different stuff uh, actually i just got hired as a lab coordinator for university so i might start doing this a lot more often and with more stuff i've been working on my Arduino that I have for 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 my classes and uh, I think that I'll have some pretty nice stuff out there all right thank you very much again and uh, see you soon